Hey, everybody. I know it's been a while. I have been busy. Um, I have spent the, the last year working on this novel, Flowers for Sarah, uh, which is based on my travels in Venice, Italy, and um, uh, tells the story. It's a, it's a coming-of-age story of a young non-binary writer um, who is uh, trying to make something of themselves and get their life back on track. Uh, definitely has spiritual elements and some twists and turns around along the way. So I, I highly recommend it if you're up for a good read, um, looking for a summer read, Flowers for Sarah, a novel. Uh, so yeah, though I do want to apologize that it's been so long since I've been on the channel and uh, haven't uh, put out any content in quite a while. Um, I have just been living, you know, writing and living life, um, reconnecting with nature, gardening, and really just uh, getting grounded again uh, post-pandemic. Um, in the early days of the pandemic, I felt very um, uh, instructed by spirit to uh, to stay active, to uh, bring, to be of service, and to put out meditation videos. Um, and to keep putting together things that would help with stress management and just dealing with, with what was coming up for all of us as the world was, was just upside down for everyone. Uh, I was doing a lot of past life regressions at the time too, and I'm um, really focusing on helping people connect with their higher selves, um, knowing that they can survive the, the death experience um, and that uh, we've all been here before and uh, to not be so caught up in fear and, uh, being overwhelmed by what was happening. And then, and then just, you know, doing a lot of uh, work as a, as a psychologist, a therapist, and a life coach during that time, and uh, really, really being busy. And um, I'm still doing all those things. I'm still a full-time therapist and life coach and still doing past life progressions. I just have uh, kind of been spending more time going inward rather than outward. And, um, you know, just, uh, like I said, focusing on reconnecting with nature, getting grounded, hiking, and um, really, really doing a lot of gardening, which is a beautiful way to connect with the life cycle. I don't know if if you garden or not, um, but for me, I find it very restorative. Um, I like being able to uh, watch the process of seeing a seed go from you know just some small tiny thing that you put into the dirt. And over time, it just, uh, you know, it's a manifestation of a plant or a flower, a berry, a fruit, a vegetable. And um, I think that's such a, a powerful process um, and a powerful metaphor for, you know, our, our thoughts, our intentions, our goals, our visions of, you know, what we, we can start with a tiny thought or a, a tiny vision. And if we just, you know, uh, surrender it to spirit and we give it what it needs, you know, we, you know, bless it with positive energy, we keep our intention there, we keep moving forward with it, that again, just like um, a seed planted in the, uh, the the dirt can turn into a beautiful uh, ear of corn or a potato patch or whatever, strawberry patch, whatever you want to uh, imagine. Um, the same thing is true of our intentions for our lives um, for our dreams, for our goals. When we plant those seeds, um, our lives can manifest in really beautiful ways. And um, I want to talk about uh, literally, um, here we are, you know, um, three and a half years since the, the pandemic began. And we're in a really different place um, in terms of, you know, worrying about COVID in our lives. However, I think that uh, for many folks, um, the, the pandemic really shook up a lot of our sense of um, stability and um, our sense of, uh, I don't know, normalcy. I, 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 that's not really what I want to say. I don't really want to say normalcy. I've noticed that um, for many folks uh, coming out of the pandemic, there's still a, a greater sense of suspicion of other people, um, more uh, closed a sense of kind of closing our hearts down, um, distanced from others, and more of a focus on me, me, me. You know, they talk about the 1980s as the me generation, and it feels like whatever we're in now has the sense of the me, me, me uh, generation. 
it's a time where, you know, we're really caught up in our own survival. Um, there's just a sense of impatience. Um, we see it on the roads, you know, everybody just racing, um, just an, a, a more unfriendliness in the world. And um, yeah, I've just noticed within myself, like even um, a sense of more, uh, I don't know, just, just letting things bother me that wouldn't bother me before. And I think that um, there's just an increased negativity. Uh, I'm a part of the Agape International Spiritual Community. And one of the things we talked about the other day in our practitioner meeting was um, unconditional love and uh, really, you know, loving without expectation and loving the things that are hard to love and um, just getting back to that place. I, I know that that wasn't, I'm sure, yeah, it was a, a challenge pre-pandemic, but there was so much more flow and love and ease and grace uh, pre-pandemic and the pandemic really made us suspicious of one another, uh, point fingers at one another, take sides of who was this on this camp and who was on that camp. And just, it feels like there's just greater polarization. Now it's moved on to other issues um, and just greater polarization and polarization keeps us from connecting with each other um, heart to heart you know, in a real way, it keeps us locked into our positions and, and righteousness, righteous indignation or righteousness and um, keeps us from seeing the good in one another because we're, we're caught up in our points of view. And uh, yeah, so just kind of bringing that, um, that to awareness. Uh, and today I, I, was introduced to a new friend and this new friend sent me a really wonderful um, uh, commencement speech uh, by David Foster Wallace called This is Water. And he had such a, a beautiful message for the college students that were graduating that feels so relevant today. This is definitely a much older recording but he talked to them about um, being adults and being adults that, you know, um, going to the, having a long eight hour day and having to go to the grocery store and get stuff and uh, how to deal with impatience when they're stuck in traffic or when they're stuck in the grocery line and judging people and mad at people and feeling like, you know, they're the most important person in the world and how to take off the glasses of self-absorption and really be present and open-hearted and loving to the person that's in the grocery line next to you and patient. And I just, I'm not doing it, uh, you know, it's true service, but I encourage you to listen to it. It was so beautiful, such a beautiful reminder that when we find ourselves um, frustrated with other people's flaws and foibles, we find ourselves mad at how people are driving in traffic um, to really try to imagine something more and to be more compassionate and open-hearted and you know I'm sure you've seen the bumper sticker or the billboard that says everyone's going through something be gentle I, I think it's such an important reminder and I know I need to remind myself of that too I'm still here having, you know, a spiritual being having a human experience, and I still need to remind myself of that as well. So anyhow, I just wanted to to come on channel today and say I, I haven't disappeared entirely. I'm just, uh, you know, basically cocooning and doing the work um, and uh, caring for myself. And, you know, I still encourage you all to, to do that for yourselves, um, do the self-care uh, my books are still out there. They're available. Everybody's now on Aud Audible as a, or iTunes as an Audible book, The Man of Paradigm Shift, which came out during the pandemic. Not sure if you read it, but um, that really is about creating the consciousness of abundance and freedom. And uh, a really, I think, a really beautiful um, uh, message in there about how to really be true to your authentic self and, um, and to choose your freedom and to live a life that honors you. Uh, my book, It's Never Too Late to Be Yourself, is also still out there. Um, follow your inner compass and take back your life. You know, it's a life coach in a book. I encourage you to, to check it out and read it if you haven't. And um, 
you know, definitely invite you to go on the journey with me to Venice, Italy with uh, Danny, the non-binary writer. And um, and uh, if you haven't read um, my first novel, Behind Barbed Eyes, um, that is a, a story about an armed bank robber and a psychologist. And it's uh, it's not a true story, but it's based on my work as a psychologist in a women's prison for over 13 years. And um, it looks at the prison system and um, and the healing journey out of uh, addiction and trauma. So yeah, there's there's some ways to to connect and spend time and um, some stuff I've put out there. So I will be back. I won't be away as long. Um, but thank you so much for for staying on this channel. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe. Um, if you're looking for some you know good content to watch of mine, uh, check out the um, the uh, havening video uh, on self-soothing. Check out the progressive muscle relaxation uh, video, uh, some of the mindful moments videos. And um, you might want to pop over to Sky Cohen's uh, channel and watch the I Tried Past Life Regression uh, that she did with me on past life regression. It's a really, really cool piece. All right. Thanks so much. And I'll see you soon. Peace and blessings.